Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Pocket Planes. This is episode four, and you can see we are now level seven. We have given, th we have been given three complimentary bucks. Three new planes are available, and you can now build two more airports. You can see we just got back. Why are you on? I don't know. Okay, so where does he need to go? You need to go to Vegas. You need to go to San Fran. So, yep, we'll go ahead and do that. So, we'll go to Vegas and San Fran, negative 88. But then we'll get two more bucks. You can see we're up to 31 bucks and 31,000, nearly 32 coins. Real quick, let's go ahead and go through these. You are in San Diego. You need one passenger and one cargo. How's San Francisco? So, wait, I see. That's a person. Dang it. Okay. Um, one passenger, one car. Is there anyone else here in San Diego? You, you are. Which you can carry with just one passenger. Oh wait, you know you're in. San, you're going to San Diego. That's where you're going. There you go. Next. You are in San Diego, and you can hold one cargo. You're already loaded with signed guitars. Oh, no, sorry. Iron. No, you're going to Salt Lake City. Layover. Oh, that is sweet. So, I guess the flight couldn't happen. That's pretty sweet. So, to Salt Lake City, you go. There we are. Wow, we're going to make, be making a ton of green. Okay, so now you're the only one in San Diego. One passenger, one cargo. Ah, uh, layover. Oh, no, look at that. We can just close. Close that. Oh, wow, that's neat. Um, one passenger and one cargo. So, San Fran, you go. Look at that, making money on that one. Achievement, jet lag complete. I don't know what that is. But, alright, Phoenix, we have, oh, wow, two people. Ah, Salt Lake City, yes, 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 you can head off to Salt Lake City, fly, and then we have you in Phoenix for two cargo to San Fran, there we go, make another 312 there, real quick, let's take a look at the market at parts, any of them apply to us, no, how about planes, what new planes, I, there were three, these guys I have unlocked, uh, through just offline, keeping it going. Kangaroo. Wow, that thing is nice. We might have to buy that. We'll click. Right now you can see the parts that I have collected. We have enough for an Air Van M. So we are going to go ahead and put that together. So if we go to here, we can unlock a slot. Yes. Go back to parts. Go to build and build our Air Van M, which can hold two passengers and one cargo. Yes. There we go, now if we go into plane, oh wait. Dang it, do I have to rebuild it? Oh, I was supposed to select where I wanted to put it. Okay, no, it did not subtract the bucks. You are going to be in Salt Lake, yes. So, wow, look at him. He's looking good. So, he will be MC007. Paint. Uh, you are going to be the blue. But not any old blue. You are going to be the sky blue. Uh, not steel. White. And, no, you'll be blue. Yeah, let's make you blue, too. Crimson, yep, 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 yep. Royal purple. There it is. Sky blue. There it is. Alright, so you need two passengers and one cargo. Well, you'll have two passengers, Phoenix and Vegas. So Vegas on the way down, then Phoenix for 114. Wow, look at him go. Sweet. So we got all that going. The nearest plane to landing is MC005, which is two minutes away from San Francisco. You can see I haven't really bought anything else besides that. Um, but I'm thinking about upgrading one of our planes, mainly the smallest one. I'm debacling whether the first or second plane. Because one is the cargo and the other one's the passenger. 
Oh, new jobs. That's great. Because I want to replace it with market uh, kangaroo pee for passengers. It can hold four passengers for 24 bucks. Hmm. I suppose we could buy another plane slot. It's 11,000 bucks, but you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, all right. Now, real quick, we will go to the market. And Mr. Kangaroo P, guess what? You belong to me in San Diego. Four passengers. Wow, yes, let's do this. Um, This will be our eighth plane, MC008. Paint. What is it? What's this purple? Ooh, the bottom side. Uh, you are going to be blue. You are going to be white. Right? I think so. White, and then you are going to be blue as well. There we go. Looking good. What is this question mark? <gasps> Dang it! Seriously? No. Dang it. Okay, so don't click the question mark. I thought that would have unlocked something or... I don't know. Vanilla beige, man, green pine, sky blue. And then sky blue. I probably should have gone the other way, but you know what? We're almost there. Boom! Look at that. Close. Sweet. So you need four passengers. To San Fran and then Phoenix. You go. So where are you? You're in San Diego, so it'll probably be quicker to do that for 250. But what if we do? Yeah, no. Quicker the other way. Kind of figured because it was shorter. So you go to Phoenix and then San Fran. Growing fleet complete. Wow, look at that. Two achievements as well. That's really good. Oh, we got the guy that landed in San Francisco. MC005, right? I don't know. What can you hold? One passenger, one cargo. So, how does Phoenix sound? One passenger, one cargo on board. All the way to there for 312. Wow, these smaller planes are making us more money than our larger ones. Which is kind of surprising, to say the least. There's uh, MC007 is pretty dang large. I really like its paint job. I really do. But this guy's our largest, which I realize I messed up on. Paint. This is a steel, not a white. Much better now. Sweet, welcome to San Diego. You need one passenger. Well, how about one passenger to Vegas? Sounds like a plan, Stan. Alright, wow, look at that. 15 minutes away from San Fran. It's kind of long, but oh well. Now I think we should save up. Oh, yes, good, got it. I think we should save up money for another airport for more jobs. Real quick, how much does... Wow, seriously? 1,545? That is cheap. Portland, 1,200. That's a possibility. Denver, 13.7. Alright, I think we are going to save up for Denver. So we need 600 more coins. Will we get it this episode? Dun, dun, dun. We don't know. We don't know. But we might. Seattle, 4 million, cost 2100. Okay. Wait, real quick. We need 610 more coins. We have two about to arrive in Salt Lake City. They are both less than one minute away. Wow, I could not plan that any better. You need two passengers, and what does the other one need? The other one needs one cargo. Alright. So, two passengers. Dang it. There's a Vegas. We'll go to Phoenix and Vegas, Vegas on the way down, and then to Phoenix for 59 coins and one green buck. You are in Salt Lake City, you need one cargo. Well, how does Phoenix sound? You'll fly directly there, let's see which one wins. Boom, it's a race. I'm willing to bet the direct route guy will win based on the fact that it's shorter and he doesn't need to make a pit stop, so... We have two guys approaching San Francisco ever so quickly. And other than that, oh, yep, now it's just one guy. You need one passenger, one cargo. What does the next guy need? Two cargo. Okay, we need to keep that in mind. There's the two cargo for Phoenix. 
you need a passenger and a cargo. How does Vegas sound? So then we can get the bonus. Sort of Vegas you go, and then the next guy will take whatever was on top. That's a pretty plane. Simple, but pretty. Oh, quite, there we are. Let's take a look at what the bit book has to say. Person next to me keeps taking their phone out to restock their floors or something weird. <laughs> oh no, that's hashtag weird. They just announced our Wallaby P will be flown by autopilot today. Number flight M or I can't talk today. Flight MC004. Yes, way to be. Three likes. Flying a plane is no different than riding a bicycle, just a lot harder and put a to put baseball cards in the spokes. <laughs> that actually is kind of funny. They blocked BitTube access on this in-flight Wi-Fi. What am I supposed to do for 16 minutes? Really? 16 minutes. That's all right. Two cargo. Two. What happened to the? All right, San Diego. Then I guess to San Dan you go. All right. Oh, there you are. Look at that. You're in Phoenix. Ooh, this is one of our newer ones, or it is our new one. Uh, we need two passengers and one cargo. Wow, as if it wasn't perfect. To San Francisco you go. Right, yeah, here we are for 470 bucks. Yeah, now you're really making money. Way to be. Way to be. All right, when's our next guy coming in? Less than a minute into Las Vegas. Let's see where that is. Ah, right there, coming from San Diego. You can hold one passenger. That's absolutely terrible. That's ugh, disgrace. All right, uh, hangers, there's nothing in there. Boom, proven. Uh, let's take a look at the bit book some more. Woman behind me is tending to her flower garden on her phone during takeoff. Turn it off. Agreed, please do it, especially during boarding. Don't stand around the gate pretending like you're gonna get on any sooner. Someone make me, someone wake me up when we get to Salt Lake City. Seven people will. Got my MyPod loaded up with the Popsicles songs. Let's do this flight. <laughs> oh man, hey, I remember taking you. Marie Rivera, or Uncle Sam. I can't believe they wouldn't seat my uranium rods next to me. Really? Hmm, I wonder why that could be. Scratch his chin. All right, so you need one passenger. How does Salt Lake City sound? Off to Salt Lake City you go, my friend. Yeah, look at that. They can all make it to Denver. The reason why I don't do San Francisco is because San Francisco is a very, very expensive airport. 51,000. We need another 37,000 to go there. So, yeah. Ooh, we could go to here for 1,000. <laughs> no. Oh, hey, look, we have enough for Denver. Yes, we'll take it. We are down to 63 coins, but we found an M in... And an M in Denver. Oh, hey, do we... Are we working on that right now? Parts. Wow. As if it wasn't meant to be. We now have a complete N and M as well. So real quick, let's see if we can take one of our smaller planes out of service when they land. So, unfortunately, this guy... No, he's bigger than this one, he, so he can probably fly further. I think I'm going to take this one out. The three minutes away from Salt Lake City guy. And then we'll replace MC-001, our very first aircraft, with an N and M. And if you want to know what that looks like, let's go to planes. Right there. That's what an N and M looks like. Kind of ugly, but, you know, it works. Two cargo, one passenger. So, I think it'll be good. Boom, another coin. Can kind of use those, but we are looking at one minute away from Phoenix for MC-005. Let's take a look at that on the map right over there look at that you're passing under one other aircraft then mc002 is right there on your neck and then mc004 will be approaching right after that wow so we have one two three guys coming into phoenix all relatively close we got phoenix one minute or negative or less than a minute then phoenix in one minute then phoenix in two Oh, and we also have another guy approaching Vegas here in less than one minute, but this guy will approach first because he's on top. Guy with a beard, some boxes, will be landing in Phoenix in less than a minute. 165 miles an hour, that's pretty good. 
It's pretty good. I like these kind of planes, the low wings, although they do tend to be a little bit more turbulent. All relatively, relatively pretty, I think. The only thing this doesn't display here is that the wings are usually in a V shape, which this doesn't really show all that accurately, it just shows that they're flat. But if you ever look, uh, look at a smaller plane like this with the uh, low wings, or wings like on the bottom of the belly of the aircraft, you will see that, um, ooh, sweet, 10 coins. When you look at it head on, like from the propeller, you will see that the Vs make quite a V. Oh, e wow, the other guy arrived first, that's cool. Sweet, one passenger, one cargo in Phoenix. And then we have one cargo and then two passengers. Okay, so one passenger, one cargo to San Fran, you go. Load up. Adios for 312 profit. That'll be good. Look at that. Up to 676. And you are in Vegas for one passenger, one cargo. Uh, hey, look at that. Denver. Oh, dang it. One passenger, one cargo. I don't really want to fly to Denver and then have to fly all the way back down to Phoenix. So you're just going to Denver. Congratulations. Go check out the new jobs for negative 54. Welcome to San Diego. Two cargo you need? Well, you'll get one to Vegas. Congratulations. Off you go. Blah. Welcome to Phoenix. You need one cargo. Ah, what's the next guy coming in? You need two passengers. All right. Well, if we take a look, two passengers looks like Denver. So we will send you to Salt Lake City. Yes, because you only need one cargo. So to Salt Lake City you go. And the very first plane arriving into Denver will be there in five minutes, which will not be this episode, unfortunately. I will have to end this episode here. I thank you guys for watching, and tune in next time.